Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I had an idea for a video. I woke up this morning I came to Bass Pro because you know that's where all good video ideas start. I came to Bass Pro with the intent of doing like a fly fishing challenge, but compared to what I just found in there and the video idea I just had, well not really a video idea, people have done it before, but I just wanted to do it too because I've like, I remember watching this video like two, three years ago, I'm not sure whose video it was, but they were using like a RC boat to catch fish and I thought that was the coolest thing ever and I was like, you know, I'm kind of grown up now and you know, I can make my own decisions and I think this is one of those decisions decisions that you should make or all adults or 20 year old people should make you should go into bass pro buy one of their remote control fishing boats and use the boat to try to catch fish so i was in there looking at flies and i came back out to the car because i left my camera in the car for whatever reason i found the remote control fishing boat so i was like yeah we should probably do that today instead so that's what we're doing today we're gonna go buy an rc fishing boat and we also need some life bait i think we might have to go to walmart to go get the life bait or we could just tie a rattle trap to the back i'm not sure the boat goes fast enough though but I looked at the boat and I was reading the box and stuff and it's actually made for fishing. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm very excited. Hopefully the thing comes with batteries because you know when you get toys for Christmas you always have the toy but you don't ever have batteries for the thing. So hopefully it comes with batteries but we're gonna run inside of Bass Pro. Go check out the boat. We're gonna do a little unboxing of the boat here on the channel. Hopefully go catch some fish on the boat. You can tell I'm excited because I'm talking with my hand. All right, guys, so here are the toy boats. I think they only have this one option, the red. Oh, this is a different one right here, isn't it? No, that's the same, too. Okay, we have a Nitro Z21. This is going to be my first ever boat owning. Well, I have a John boat at the house, but we're going to say this is the first one. Let's see. Nitro Z21 RC fishing boat. It needs batteries. It doesn't come with batteries. 6 AA and 1 9 volt. What all does it come with? Fishing tackle included. RC, RC toes real fishing line. RC fishing boat. Oh gosh. We're going for one of those. That's like a three or four pounder right there. We want we want to catch a three on this boat today. Adjustable steering trim. 80 feet operational range. We should get a raptor too. We should buy the okay, I don't need that. <laughs> we should buy the hey, we should buy the truck and the trailer to pull our boat with. Oh, this is gonna be kind of cool. I'm kinda excited for this one. There's kids in here and I'm over here looking at the boats and they're like looking at the big kid stuff. Alright, so we're gonna grab the boat. And when we get back outside to the truck, then we are going to do a little unboxing. Or actually, when we get to the pond, we'll do the unboxing and see what the fishing boat is all about. All right, guys, as I'm walking out with the boat, the lady looks at me and she's like, she looks down at the boat, she looks at me and she like has this confused look and she's like, whatever you're doing with it, you have fun. I was like, yes, man. I just want to play with it. I don't think it's that weird. I'm actually really excited for this one. This is my first toy boat. When I was little, I used to like be in RC cars, like the Traxxas cars and stuff like that. Now I always wanted the boat, and actually I wanted to do this challenge. I wanted to get like one of the Traxxas boats, but I feel like that's kind of overkill. Like you just break off all the fish because those are a little fast. You got the goods. All right, guys, here it is, the Nitro Z21. Normally, could be about a sixty thousand dollar boat, but we got it for forty, baby. Eight plus, or does that just mean it's eight and up? I'm guessing that's eight plus. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this, figure out how we're gonna rig it up. I kinda wanna drive it around a little bit before I put the rod and reel and stuff on it. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a little feel for how it drives and then we're gonna do all this extra stuff. Should I put a bobber on it? All right, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna go ahead and unbox it for right now. I think this is the best purchase I've made all year. Is that the boat? I think that was the boat. This is like 10 times better than Christmas morning. Line and bobber. Let's go, baby. Then it comes with extra line. Oh, okay, the top comes off to put the batteries in. Ah, makes sense. Why is the screwdriver so big? The one thing my dad had taught me is that every man should always have a screwdriver set with him at all times. And I got a screwdriver set with me at all times. I forgot I had it, honestly, not gonna lie. All right, guys, so we got the batteries put into the boat and into the remote control. We had a little struggle, but luckily we had our screwdriver, so we got it figured out. Um, so, I think I'm gonna attach my GoPro to the boat 
for our maiden voyage. I'm not going to tie any line to it. I want to kind of fill it out a little bit. This thing took six AA batteries and the remote took one 9 volt. So that should give us enough juice to fish all day. No problem. I would think in theory. All right, guys. So me strapping my GoPro onto this boat just turned this boat from a $40 boat to like a $350 boat. So um, we can't lose the boat because my GoPro is on it and that would suck to have to buy another GoPro. Um, yeah, I think we just send it now. I don't know what the chances of this thing flipping over are. Hopefully they're low, but the boat is on, the controller's on. That means we're ready to go. two fish um, now we just have to figure out how we're gonna rig this we're gonna lower this a little bit so our lure will sit a little bit deeper in the water all right I think we should be ready to go I think that's how you do it I think Hey guys you see how the float is beside the boat it's not supposed to be right there it's actually supposed to be like behind the boat i think it came off and it's went under the water like three times so i think we might have to retie actually we're going to bring the boat in real quick so we don't lose it because the range is only 80 feet and i'm pretty sure that might be like past this range all right guys i think i got it fixed so i just have the line tied straight to the motor in the back and then our weight and our worm at the bottom so let's try it out now Guys, now I see how, why it was so hard to get in. We have a big bluegill on here. That's a big one. Oh, man. But our first fish, our first fish on our new boat is a bluegill. It's a pretty good one, too. Dude, that thing, <laughs> that thing was mean. Check it out. Dude, that was a fight trying to get it in with the bluegill on it. Imagine if it was like a big bass and our prop is all muddied up. Oh man, that was fun. All right guys, after our first fish, our first fish was quite a fight and it was just a bluegill. I didn't know if we were honestly gonna be able to land them because our boat just kept swimming one direction no matter how hard I pushed the throttle. We can manage somehow to hook up on a bass today. The fight, the fight on this thing is probably gonna be unreal. All right, guys, I think I got another one. Pulled up to the new spot. It worked out. I don't think this one is as big as the first one was, but he's still giving us a little fight.
guys, this one was a struggle to get in. Like when we, when you catch one, the boat's gonna go like in circles and whichever the fish swims, that's which way the boat's going. Oh man. This one's a little bit fatter than the first one. All right, there is bluegill number two. I think he peed on us a little bit. There's bluegill number two on our boat. Man, this is awesome, I love it. All right, that's our second fish on our boat. Now we keep, this one's a little bit thicker than the first one is. The first one was just bigger. This one's a little bit thicker. We keep going up in size. I'm not sure, honestly, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to handle a bass on this boat. If we catch a bass on the boat, the bass might pull the boat under. Then we have to get on the kayak and go scuba diving for the boat. Alright guys, I think I might have broke the boat. Our line is stuck in and the prop on the back is like broken off. So I really don't want to send it. Our line is like stuck. And we can probably, we can definitely cut that out, but the prop is kind of like chipped up and broke. And I really don't want to lose the GoPro. I mean, we can try, we're going to try one more sand, but if we don't catch anything, we, we can always say we caught two on it. We had a whole bunch of bites on this thing. I just ran into a goose over there. This is like bedding season, I guess, for geese. I didn't see it and I saw like a fish blow up over there. I was heading towards the fish and the goose like stood up and it was like, I was like, whoa. And then that's when the line got caught. I thought the goose was gonna take my boat, which would have been pretty cool. I guess like seeing the goose fly away if I could have found it. But I mean, it is what it is. We're gonna try to get this undone. Maybe try to catch one or two more. Maybe if we if the boat even still goes, but if it doesn't, I mean, we can always say that the boat challenge was a success. All right guys, I had a few prop issues at the end of the day, but anyway, it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. We're still on the road to 150, 150,000. All right, we'll do 150,000. I'm not at 100 yet, but we'll go ahead and skip 100. 150,000 subscribers. So if you enjoyed today's video, just click over here. Click the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. I appreciate all the support on the channel. Don't forget to fish hard and have a good day.